Okay, next up, number three, Brandon, come on up. So Brandon was a fantastic talent to have on the team. Um, he was league, league age six, so he was one of the youngest on our team, along with Christian, right? But um, he just did a fantastic job, knows the game of baseball very well, always hardworking, always paying attention, always focused, right? Never goofing around. And uh, I wish we could have pitched him, because he can pitch really well, too. But he was too young to do that. But had part of the, the, the one of the best plays all season, last game at first base, had a nice play, and just put in solid effort every single practice, every single game, and I'm really proud of you. Dad, he was our uh, he was our hooks version of Ichiro because he was always going. I mean, he was lightning fast, and so as soon as he made contact, he was on the go. So if you guys know who Ichiro Suzuki is, he's played for the Mariners and he's on the Marlins. Hits the ball wherever it goes and gets on base. So that's <laughs> Uh, easily one of the most serious players we have. I talk about, hey, players, some players, they don't talk as much. You say, hey, you know, I need you to do this, and he's just like this. You know? And so serious all the time. You talk about players that let their play do the talking for them. That's absolutely this player, and he's so intense. And it's moments like, I mean, he had an unbelievable game today. Hit a grand slam today, but what I'll remember most today is he's up there and he's ready to hit, and the guy walks and he's like, "Man, yeah, <laughs> like how dare you walk me? Throw me a pitch." <laughs> so Brandon, ready? All right, Brandon. Yeah, Brandon. All right, you can talk. I'm filming it. All right, so. Yes, so Brandon, all year long, all year long, was the dominant pitcher on our team. I mean, he had games where he would shut out the opposition, right? Uh, and, and we all knew that as Brandon went, so the team went, right? Uh, not only could Brandon pitch, uh, he pitched no hitters and shutouts, right? Uh, but he could also hit. He would get up there. He, absolutely. He, yes, he uh, was amazing up to bat. Um, and he was another one of the team leaders. So I appreciate Brandon so much. Another quiet kid. Um, if you realize, I don't know how many of you guys realize how competitive Brandon was. Uh, the first game that we played, uh, we shut out and, and Mercy, the Orioles, and he was upset. No, Rangers. And he was upset because like, he walked somebody. And, and I'm like, Brandon, Brandon, why are you upset? He's like, I wouldn't have walked that guy, but Coach Ray said I needed to walk that guy, so we didn't mercy him. Or something like that. <laughs> okay, dude. He still okay. maintains he didn't walk him. It was intentional. Absolutely. It doesn't count. Absolutely. It's, like, Brandon, told me. it's okay. It's a, it's a big game. It's a long season. It's all good. Uh, Brandon, the ultimate competitor. And uh, you know what? We are very, very, very proud of Brandon. So he's right there. So let's all give Brandon a cheer. Yeah. All right, Nitro. Next up is Brandon. So, so I had the pleasure of coaching Brandon a couple years ago, so I, I knew what Brandon was all about. Brandon definitely uh, lets his play do the talking out there, you know, trying to get Brandon. Like, I, I try to talk to him a little bit, and he's like, yep, coach, yes. You know, just very short, but he always lets his play do the talking. And... Um, you know, I think he saw what he could do because he got in the games in some of the toughest moments and he did a great job for us and not only pitching, but he had some great hits for us as well. Great job, Brandon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Next up, Brandon, why don't you come up on up here? All right. So I got to coach Brandon a couple years ago, so I, I knew a little something about Brandon. Um, and he was everything I expected him to be all season long. So I think Brandon led the team and wins as a pitcher with 11 wins. 
Um, he was a tremendous starting pitcher for us. Um, he was one of our top hitters. Hitting leadoff is not an easy thing to do on our team. I asked the leadoff hitter to take a lot of pitches, so he's pretty much started off every game with me telling him, hey, you got to take till you get a strike. So that meant every first at bat, he's going to have at least one strike on him before he was starting to hit. Um, and he was a stud all season long for us. Um, what I like about Brandon is I totally didn't know him as a person a couple of years ago because I thought he was totally quiet and never like came outside of his shell. Brandon's like a little party animal. On the team. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So my favorite thing about Brandon, even though like sometimes I have to be like, Brandon, stop it. Like pregame, Brandon antics are like part of the reason our boys are so loose is because there's like a pregame wrestling match or tag or whatever <laughs> going on before the game. So, but what should be said about it is such a strong attribute he can go from being playful and loose to hyper focused on what he needs to do and i think you saw that in the championship game right Here you go, Keith. and the walk-off hit right yeah great job all right b walker come on up here yeah. All right, so I've had the pleasure of uh, coaching Brandon on more than a couple occasions, and uh, he just, he amazes me. I was thinking about it. I, th I think his dad posted something on Facebook and said, like, caption this or whatever, and I, I, I started thinking to myself, like, I, for some reason it came to my mind, like, Splendid Splinter. Like, if you know, if you've been around the game and you know Splendid Splinter, like, Ted Williams, like, so slight but has so much pop to him. And I remember seeing Brandon swim for the first time a while back and thinking to myself, how does someone so thin create so much power at the plate and on the mound? I don't know how you do it, but you must put every ounce into it. But Brandon hit lead up for us. And we know Brandon is a tremendous pitcher. Um, and you got messed up on a couple hits with the shift. Yeah, the shift. They put the, the shift, shift on him. That's true. <laughs> yeah, they, they're putting in rules for the shift, just so you know, so that guy won't be able to do it. <laughs> really? They're talking about it big time. Seriously? All right. Well, so, Brandon. Good job. 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 There was a Major League Baseball player with the nickname Splendid Splinter because he was just so powerful with such a such a slight frame. And um, James told me after we got into the season when he first showed up um, to look at the team, he looked at the team and he was he was very concerned about the team <laughs> based upon the uh, size of the players. Like, I don't know. I don't know what coach was late thinking here with these uh, these players, but um, once this player threw the ball, um, he was very impressed. And I, and I was joking around with his parents. I said, man, he's really packed on the pounds this year because I think last year at our swim party, I could literally see his heart beating. He's so, so skinny. I don't know how he does it. I don't know how he creates so much power from such a slender frame. And I tell you, being a leadoff hitter for a team where your coach, I already told you I'm insane, is not an easy job, especially as a 10-year-old coming into a major's division. Um, so he did a lot of things that you guys probably don't know about this year. Most of the time when he comes up, I force him to not hit until he has one strike on him. That's not an easy task. Um, and he's willing to do that for this team, and that's Brandon. You know, just when I do stuff like this, I think about all the boys and all, there's so many moments to this team, um, but uh, what made this team so incredibly special uh, is, is really, it was team before self. Um, and that's what we preach. And so you make these types of sacrifices for your team. Okay? And these are all-stars. These are all boys that are used to hitting uh, one or two or three in the lineup or pitching or playing shortstop or being the main guys. And to be able to put your team before self 
um, is, is one of the greatest things that they have. So I'll bring you up here. I want to shake your hand. I want you to know um, how proud I am of you. Um, and just thank you for your efforts, if that's good with you guys, because I know you're like, he's already talked it up already anyway. Right? We've got a medal here on the back that says her name. It says 2019 CLL 10U All-Stars District 18 and Section 3 Champion and State Runner-Up. Very cool. Splendid splinter. Brandon Walker. Hey, thank you guys for everything you put in. You guys spent your whole summer playing baseball. I hope it was worth it because, like I said, you know, district champs, section champs, state runner up is absolutely amazing. Um, so proud of you guys, and I definitely consider it an honor to have coached you guys. So thank you guys very much.